Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I just want to give you a few tips here around how to work through some extensive um, DAX formulas or, or more complex DAX formulas. Occasionally, you just need to, you know, write some quite complex formulas if there's some unique things that you want to show in your um, Power BI reports. And this is a perfect example. This is straight from the Enterprise DNA forum. There was a, a formula that uh, um, a member asked for around sales force forecasting with ramp up right and what the sort of scenario required was we needed to see what the discounting um, would be over time based on sales that a customer had um, had uh, purchased that, that we'd made to a certain set of customers right and there was some internal logic in here that we needed to see by day every single day the sort of ramp up in discounting costs to the business right so you see here that as a customer bought more they reached a certain threshold and then were able to achieve a higher a higher discount okay um, and this is all this is all we had from a client perspective right um, for, well in this particular case it's forecasted monthly sales um, with uh, so this was sort of straight from a CRM database potentially um, with a probability of success but also you know based on this we will we would then have a um, and uh, based on say the date for example we would have a sort of a ramp up in terms of like what's our forecast going forward now this is this is a perfect example of like um, there's no like one way to do this but there's many ways to do it um, uh, and the key thing I want to show you here is that um, you know a lot of these formulas exist around the around the web right around how to actually do this uh, you know for example in the forum um, Brian one of our enterprise DNA experts obviously spent a lot of time working out quite an extensive formula here of how 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 it, how it actually works right um, and so I'm just leveraging leveraging off that and what I want to do is I, I, I was sort of just walking through this particular example and um, it was quite an extensive formula and I, and I thought okay well how can how can I help people understand these a little bit easier right so for example if, if I um, I'm just going to show you so if you saw a formula like this um, you know it's it's pretty hard to understand it right pretty hard to understand I mean um, once you get into the rhythm of things like this can become easier to understand so my first recommendation is to pr format this um, in a way that suits you right and that's what the DAX cleanup tool um, tries to enable you to do we give you a few options around how you might want to format things but uh, I prefer things a lot more condensed right so I've set we've set this up to be a little bit more condensed um, for something this complex it's still not perfect so you can come in here and make a few edits if you if you want but what I ultimately did was I brought it back into my report here um, and you'll see that I, f I feel like this is a little bit easier to understand now that I've formatted it like this like the condensed version utilizing from you know a lot more of the f sort of formula uh, bar here um, wor works for me okay so let's just work you know, in terms of like working through uh, how to how to understand these these sort of formulas the easiest way if you see something really complex as well is to make sure it is set up with variables so that you can actually look at each step along the way within variables right so what Brian had done with this solution is he's created a lot of the logic he's broken it out into separate variables so we're trying to work out here which clients um, actually have a discount right or what discount applies to the, a particular client here we're running um, the logic that says well, if the sales is above that um, discount then they get um, a, a, well, again a, a, above a certain threshold well then they get a, a specific discount okay so it's so much easier as I read through it the logic in behind because we're ultimately going to get to sort of this part here which is the sort of the crux of the formula the main part of the formula the main logic well it's going to be easier to understand once we are able to sort of set through if you tried to write this all out within one formula I mean just impossible right so ever since they introduced variables it's made it so much easier to understand what is actually going on in formulas like this so it's 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 it's, an, it's it's probably enabled a far more complex calculations to be honest because no one would have been able to understand it if, if you had to sort of put this all in one it really changed the game in terms of com, uh, you know um, advanced analytics inside of uh, inside of power bi when variables arrived
okay then the next part here is so if and this is this this was a, p a part of the issue within the forum question was how do you make sure you also get the totals correct right so this this um so within this matrix right because remember the data set it wasn't it wasn't a daily data set right so we have had to somehow um, allocate in this example allocate results across every single day here let's just jump back to the data i mean this is this is it this is the data set here this is the data set and this is the discounts um the dates table here doesn't actually really do us any favors when we're trying to run this analysis so we have to create um, some unique calculations to actually allocate results across every single day it's not going to happen naturally for us because there's only if we look at um where are we if we look at the data here there's only sort of like a go live date that's the only that's sort of the only date but we need to look at dates all all after that point for example okay so that's what this formula is actually doing but breaking it out like this we can say okay well if the first day uh first day of the month is less than or equal to the selected go live date then we want to actually see a result right but then we still need to be able to allocate that result across every single day and so what we want to do here is um, we want to say we want we're, in, in the in the solution we've said okay let's create a virtual table so at what ads columns is doing is it's bringing together the every single account name and every single um, first day of the month and we're saying okay what is the discounted monthly sales right of that particular um, of that particular month then here we're allocating it so we're saying if first day of the month had uh, if has one value first day of the month and account name so this is this is for the matrix right uh, and then if has one value account name so this is for the totals so we're, we're allocating a result just for the totals here right and, and we're iterating through this virtual table up here then we're saying okay well what's the total for um, the first the first day of the month column that's what we're getting here the bot this is this is the bottom I think this is the bottom total and then here we're getting the grand total so this I think is so you see here how in the solution use utilizing switch we've been able to break out where each value needs to go and so this is another perfect uh, example of how you solve totals so you've got totals down the bottom here you've got totals on the side here and you've got a grand total right here one two eight seven and with that switch true technique you're able to um, make sure or allocate specific values to specific totals to make sure they are actually correct so hold on a second i just want to just double check something so this here ah hold on I, uh, so, sorry for the confusion this first day of the month is actually this is actually months not actually days so this is sort of forecasting out yeah i mean you probably already realized that but um <laughs> I, I should have realized it um so it's actually forecasting out by month right so it's so, so so basically all it's saying is like as after someone goes live we want to then sort of check out okay what's the probability of sort of discounts going forward i mean it could be it could just be general sales like what are the probability of sales going forward after this particular date we've used the first date of every month within this part of the matrix and then just by way of us um by way of this formula we've then allocated the results to each of those first days of the month based on whatever you know this this is sort of the main one here so we're sort of saying if the first day of the month has one value and if the client name has one value so you see up here then we want it to um equal the filtered result which is this particular variable here um and that result right is this piece of logic here so it just flows really nicely flows really nicely okay so this is just um I, this is just an example of you know just a few different tips that that, that sort of come to mind when i see a formula like this how i sort of sort sort things out so i understand it and then then i, I, I sort of just talking through the logic right if you don't understand you know, sort of every part of what i've talked about there um first of all make sure you 
you get things into a format so that you can tr- you know at least understand a bit of it and then just go and search specific things like maybe you don't quite understand what calculate table means but i've got there's a, there's a number of videos on on enterprise dna tv that you can review just about calculate table it's such a crucial function to understand um, if you don't quite understand what virtual tables are doing um, here there's actually multiple virtual tables embedded into each other which is quite interesting um, check it check out some virtual table type um, uh, tutorials on um on on the channel as well some great stuff there to learn and really key techniques when you start sort of moving out to this more advanced stuff okay all the best everyone um if you liked if you liked uh, this this sort of content this um more advanced stuff uh, with with power bi and and dax formulas let me know in the comments and definitely throw the video a like um and uh, also subscribe don't forget to subscribe to enterprise DNA tv as well okay all the very best talk to you soon